and today I'm gonna show you some tricks. Um, I recorded this first, and I built all this, but it really, it ended up being like half an hour, so, um, probably don't want to watch all of that, and I can kind of show it a bit easier. It's not going to be complete building, though, I guess, but this is my main TV here. It's made, you need an arcade to make it. I think it looks really cool, though. So if you get the arcade machine, it's worth building. So uh, these are, okay, so it uses the lounge table, the arcade machine, a small lamp, and a wood wall if you end up using that to cover this up here. Because you need to cover up the bottom so you can do like, like this, if that makes sense. To get it under there and then you can move it forward and fix it or you can rotate another you can rotate another cable to fix it a lot of these things go through walls they go under and that's something that's just kind of reality because you're kind of picking parts of it like with this you can see that's like the main part of the arcade but then we're just using the top part this is three arcade machines. I'd probably use this color scheme because when you use others, it kind of melds and stuff. You can also... I, am, I haven't done it before, but if you have in like a way to stick it outside or whatever, like to the side, you could probably do it like uh, instead of horizontal tricolor, you could do like vertical tricolor and you know that probably look a lot better I haven't done it before because it is kind of hard to get sideways space but I think it would look pretty cool uh, another downfall of it is it would kind of be stuck to the wall but it's not a huge downfall anyway here is my microwave it's made with kind of conjunction with my kitchen counter so you just get your regular counter here, but then you can use washing machines. That's just a washing machine that's been flipped like this. Like just flipped over to make a big cube of malleable. This is, and this is just the part, the top part of a vending machine, which has been pushed under to there. So. And then this is just a little railing I put there to make the bottom of it. Now you can see that's like the timer, place where you put your dead chicken, and a little numpad. So I think by far that looks... Uh, that and the TV look like spot on, in my opinion. They look really good. Like It's not like just a bit of discrepancy, it's like... Some things are like, if you stare, like, you know what it is, but it doesn't quite look like it. Or, it, it doesn't quite look like it. Like this, this is a fridge. By fridge standards in this game, it's a pretty good fridge. But, it doesn't look like super detailed fridge, you know. Anyway, this is made with kind of the same trick. We've got some washing machines here. You can also use filing cabinets. To make like some kind of malleable color change stuff. It's pretty good. It has a bit less stuff. It just has the the you know um, drawers for the filing cabinet that you have to deal with being not regular. This is this has just been rotated to that, and then it's been stuck in like just that. This is a dumpster colored white stuck through a wall to make a mounted TV and in my opinion that's like like a modern TV flat screen or whatever it looks pretty good in my opinion uh, these are plants you stick them in the ground and then they grow out of the ground like real plants they're real plants now um, people tend to just stick this part but I feel like that looks really good too 
with an actual stump and stuff. So you could do that, kind of change what people would expect or whatnot, and I think it looks pretty good. You can kind of get some unexpected. You can make a little burner with a small lamp. I'll color it maroon for mine, and you stick it like that. And you can cancel out the other lighting with your own lighting. See? That cancels it out. You can't see the red really at all there. So that does a pretty good job. And then you can have a little burner there. And it's kind of hard to make, but, you know, you could totally do it. Yeah, the dumpster. I haven't really realized it before, but it, it would... The, it is another good malleable surface sur, surface that you could use. It's really big. It's the biggest of the bunch. So if you could probably make... Here, I'm going to delete this now. Unfortunately. I guess this is the final take, huh? Because I don't feel like making that again. <sighs> yeah, I shaved that off. You can probably use the dumpster. Move it over here. To make a quick counter. It might look a big, bit big though. Who knows? You'd have to stick it up the back a bit. But there, you can make a pretty quick counter, like a kitchen counter. It is going to come out gray because it's not exactly smooth plastic. It's ice, but you, it pretty much looks like smooth plastic, which is nice. Got a TV here. It's pretty cool, and. That's all I really have to say. I don't have much other building tricks. Um, I could, I, I do have footage of, uh, when I took the footage of me making it all from scratch, it, it, it took like half an hour. So, you know, this is probably better. Um, I am going to go over making the TV because, you know, maybe you have some questions about that. And I, I might make this one if, it, uh, you'll probably get the gist. Uh, this is pretty much made by, you get a table, table lounge, you place it down, you're going to need a bit of space underneath. If you do have space underneath, it makes it easier to build and whatnot. You take an arcade wooden, you set it, um, I use, I'm using green first, so let's go green. Uh, what I mean by this is, if you have different color scheme it ends up doing this you see you get a white line here and it, it kind of melds with that it's just better if you have red yellow green or probably a combination of those you can see you can pretty much see each color it doesn't really bend with each other or whatever you could probably even change these to more lighter versions of the color because if you have a less bright version, it doesn't glow as much. So you could do that if you want to get some different colors or whatnot. But for now, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to take my TV with me. Do my green. I can put it on the table and then hold up to put it down. Get it like there. That looks good. And then I edit it. I hit copy. Click on it again. Switch to yellow. Then you just put it up. And then you can see here. You want that to be like that. So it just melts, really. Um, I don't know if anyone is really going to see that, but... Personally, that's what I would do. Just, you know, make sure it's all good. Um, really, it gets a bit big if you don't do that, I guess, so it's probably fine. Usually, if you have your settings down, it glows a bit less. You can kind of see that, like what I was talking about. So you see, I'm going to move that down a bit. 
now it's just a flush TV and it looks very good. Now if you want to add the antennas, we of course do that with a lamp small. Put it to black so it doesn't glow light everywhere. I'm sure you could probably put actually make it give off a little bit of light. If you wanted to do that, just stick some lamps in it to give off a bit of light, but for this, it's a pretty quick build, and it, it's really it, it's great. I put it in, like, everything. So you do that, and you can get a little antenna, move it more into the middle, rotate the other one out, and you got yourself antennas, and it's cool. Wow. That's a pretty cool TV. And I'm going to end it off on that, other than I lied, and you can also do this. Copy. Not like that. Here. Do that. Can move it. Can do that to block it off. If you think that looks weird, you can use a wall instead and either, uh, either edit it under that or place it under that. If you place it, you won't go into issues with it not going underground. And if you've got that thing where it's kind of bugging out, it's because they're right in each other. You move it just a smidge, and then it doesn't make a huge difference, and it won't do that anymore. And what I was talking about before, so you can kind of get things into the ground, but uh, by moving it inch by inch, but it doesn't entirely work. You see, I can really just get it down to here, maybe a bit further. But no, you can see it won't let me get any further down. Now, of course, I could, if I place it on the table, yeah, that's just anti-building bases underground, which is kind of unfortunate. Mm. Personally... I don't find anything wrong with underground bases. The only thing I find wrong with it is if you delete the door or if you do a number of things like you, you know, jump out and attack, kind of unfair. And even more unfair is when you actually shoot from underground. It's ridiculous. You can do because it, you're basically giving yourself god mode. And you basically turned yourself invisible and are now shooting through walls. You, like, you get the point. They can't shoot. They can't kill you and you can't kill them. But those bases are pretty fun to raid, I'd say. And it's pretty cool. So uh, people actually do cool things with them. They're pretty cool. But personally, I'd say the, this, the, the, the like stopping the props, it's not stopping it at all. Like, I, I, I don't really have an underground basis, so I don't really care, but putting an arcade down, that that's not stopping anything, because you can still build underground for some reason, and you don't build doors like that anyway. Well, thank you for watching. That's pretty much all I have. Like I said, you can use filing cabinets and things to make other kinds of TVs. You could try rotating that sideways to get horizontal lines of color rather than uh, that. And it looks pretty cool. It's a nice retro TV here. And thank you for watching the video. And I hope these trick little tricks make your kitchen or the living room better because they're pretty cool um a lot of these i learned by either playing around or just seeing them and being wow that's cool i can do that in my base and i have and it's very cool so thank you for watching this video